something that has captivated me is the mind, specifically behavior. I find it fascinating that I mean, you are unique. No one in this room has the same personality as anybody else, even though we share 99.9% .9 of our genome. Now, how can this be? There are over 8 billion of us on this planet, a number that surprised me at first. And even though there are so many of us, and that we all come from the same planet that is green, that has water, we are not similar in the slightest. The closest people to us is our parents and our siblings. Now, I have a brother who my back had to. We are both born from the same parents and very biologically similar, except for the fact that I look a bit more like my mom. For 14 or 15 years, we have lived in the same house, gone to the same school, and learned from the same teachers. And yet, here I am, giving a TED Talk about the social differences between people, while he gave a TED Talk about how Mars is the next frontier for humanity. I tend to forgo social situations where I have to talk with people who are new to me, while he is a social butterfly, able to navigate a conversation like a breeze. How can this be? How can we be biologically the same, and yet behaviorally so different? Scientists have a term for this. It's called a non-shared environment, defined by the American Psychological Association as the aspects of an environment that individuals living together uh, who do not share, which tends to cause them to be dissimilar. These aspects could be the different friends we've made. Uh, he may have one friend that I do not share. Or it could be the different lectures we've attended. He's attended a lecture about how the Orion mission is supposed to lead him to Mars. And I've attended a lecture about how big a uh, factor genetics can play in behavior. Now, now this is an idea that some of you may be familiar with, if I can reword it a bit, where a small change in an initial condition can lead to a massive repercussion in the final result. Or in other words, where on one side of the world, a butterfly flaps its wings, and on the other side of the world, a tornado hits a city. Now, this is, of course, the butterfly effect. The butterfly in this case being the different friends uh, that my brother and me have made. Whether or not they've had an impact on our personality have led us to be such different people. When we uh, make assumptions about others, we tend to generalize that they are the same as us, that they've had the same experience as us, and that they have the same feelings as us. But it is important to remember that even though biologically, as humans, we are the same, personally, as people, we are uniquely chaotic, uniquely separate. And I hope I speak for many when I say that that is a beautiful thing. That even though there are 8 billion of us on this globe, all connected by a 2 meter long string shared within us, we are all separate and unique. Thank you very much.